Let's continue with Barbie's Winter Wonderland outfit by knitting a blouse, a tube top, really. Here's the whole outfit, and here is the blouse we'll be knitting today. All of these patterns and quite a few others appear in this book, and there's a link in the program notes. All of the samples are made with Mary Maxim Festive Feet yarn, adjusted to get about seven stitches, 10 rows per inch. It's all left over from these sock patterns, where I knit it more tightly at about eight stitches and 12 rows per inch. And with what's left over from adult socks, you can make all these fun little teeny projects. The yarn should definitely be rewound for use in the knitting machine. And I have a whole video on yarn management that I will link in the program notes. We begin by casting on 25 stitches using E-wrap. As always, remember not to wrap too tightly so it won't be difficult to knit the first row. This sock yarn has a little bit of stretch, making it wonderful for this project, both for ease of casting on and for ease of dressing Barbie. Knit eight rows for the hem, and I always find it easiest to knit the first three rows back from hold to avoid any fuss. Now lift the e-wraps that were used to start the knitting and hang them on the needles. Every other e-wrap is good enough, but do bring all the needles forward to knit the next row back from hold for ease of knitting. Knit 12 rows, and that's the body of the blouse. After that, we're ready for a second hem. To make that hem, bring forward every other needle, and with a slightly different yarn, e-wrap those needles. I'm going to use a very different yarn so that you'll get a good look at it. A closer match would show less on the finished garment but for a Barbie top, I really don't mind. Now knit eight rows, still using the main yarn. Lift the recently made E-wraps and hang them on the working needles. There's a nice close look. Now we're basically done, and I'm going to just bind off using the latch tool bind off around the gate pegs. If you're uncomfortable binding off two sets of, or two loops of yarn at once, you can knit a single row and use the transfer bind off, or if you can do the gate peg bind off from the other side of the machine with your left hand, go for it. But one way or another, we're simply closing the second hem. I think of it as the top hem of the garment, but it doesn't matter too much which one is top and which is bottom. Now we just lift it off of the machine. As always, give the fabric a lengthwise pull. Now we need to wrap it around Barbie and seam the center back. This is how it will fit. Double check the fit and then seam those edges together and you're done. This is what you have. Turn it right side out and whatever else Barbie is wearing, take it off because we need to slide this over her hips and up to her bosom, much easier than trying to go over her arms. And now the skirt I had her in can go back on. This is it. This is the easiest part of the outfit and of course, it could just as easily be part of a summer beach outfit or something like that. A couple of notes before we go. This is a number one yarn. It is okay to substitute another number one yarn, but sock yarns are ideal because of that little bit of stretch they often have. And about gauge, it should be close, but it isn't necessary for it to be perfect. The reason I'm a stickler for gauge on an adult project is that in a project like this one with a thin yarn, if you are even half a stitch off gauge, you can be two sizes off in an adult project when you're finished. There are so few stitches involved here that the size variance is much smaller. Also, the project is so small and quick, you won't be tearing your hair out if you get it wrong the first time. It takes the tiniest scrap of yarn to make this blouse far less than an ounce. And that's it. I'll see you in a few days with another piece of the Winter Wonderland outfit.